Hey guys, it's Bo from Crossbow Game, and look at this! This is what it really is. The title was not lying. 1,750 drill bits. Yeah, crazy amount. And did you just guess? Well, I'd said it in the title too. It's a three-part mining vessel. Now, why the hell would you do three parts? Well, stick with me. Let's talk this thing out. So a lot of you guys have seen in the past a design where you have a platform and then you take landing gears and you just shove like a single, um, like basically like a single line of armor connected to a drill bit in the front and push it in. Well, I thought that was cool, but it's not going to be that cool later on because I want to be able to move it. Because if you just make it into a station, well, you can't really take the station with you too easily, but a large ship you can. So first thing we got to build is the cage. Now we're exploiting the fact that these three by three wheels, if you put them as close as you can together, but like, like this, there's actually going to be a seven by seven uh, box on the inside. You could potentially put something in, which is exactly what that red thing is. What the red thing is, is a big shaft. Basically that all it is, it's just a big tube. That's well, not much of a tube, but you get the idea. It's a shaft that is then connected to what's here, which is basically the connector that connects it to the drill bit. The drill bit is connected independent because if you didn't want 1,750 drill bits, you could just disconnect it from the main rig and then just swap it out for another one, right? Or whatever you feel like. I mean, that, I just like the idea of versatility. So if I want to do something somewhere else, but I don't want to take this with me, I can always just move this rig to another asteroid and use a different bit. So they, what the essence is, is this gray cage simply is like a ball bearing uh, shaft. It's basically, if you're like a woodworker like I am, it's a jig that all it does is hold the red shaft perfectly straight. So when you put it into the asteroid, it's maintaining the red shaft to make it nice and straight. So when you're going backward and forward, it's not going to be twisting on you, which is pretty important. Now, one thing I had to do with the red shaft is add a bunch of thrusters on the outside because we have to make sure that it doesn't move one way to the right or to the left as we are mining. Big problem because this blue ring is a station. So we are exploiting the fact that when you do a new station, it will be a non-movable structure. And uh, one pro tip is when you do this, you need to line up your drill bit along the orientation of what a station will allow. So make sure that if you're starting to align this thing, put down one cube worth of station or a couple cubes. So that way you get an idea of where to rotate it. Then when you're happy with where your drill is planted, run a ring around it, and then you can attach the gray uh, frame to the station, making this an immovable object with the exception of, haha, the red shaft. So if you look up meow, up, up meow, up, up meow, okay. These are all the thrusters for the, the gray thing. But here's two landing gears. The two landing gears here hold the red shaft together and hold it inside. So as we're transporting this vessel, the red shaft is not moving. Okay, but we want it to move now. So let's go find ourselves a control panel because each one of these three has a control seat. I know that's one right there, but that's not the one I want. Yeah, that's what I want. Because here's a control panel here. There is one there, and then the red one is down there, because it's three separate ships. So here we go. Come on. Come on. There you go. <clears throat> Pro tip, make sure the wheels are shut off. You don't want them doing anything. If they have any form of propulsion, or any form of anything, it will tear open or it will crush the red part in the middle. So if they're off, all they act like is just ball bearings. So you don't have to worry about them too much. Uh, so just make sure those are shut off. Okay. Uh, thrusters, I have them on because I want to make sure that uh, it's not going to move. And again, it's it's connected to the station, but it doesn't hurt. And uh, not too big a deal. There's two sets of landing gears. The bottom one's connected to the blue platform. The top one connects it to the red shaft, which we will now unlock. Okay, <clears throat> now that the red shaft is free to do its thing, I now have to hope to Christ that it does not start to move because <laughs> before it's been moving on me. Anyway, inside there is four refineries and a bunch of inventory slots. 
So what we're going to do now is go turn on the damn drill. Okay, so as you can see, hell of a lot of drill bits are on the front of that thing. Pressing K takes a while. So the connectors, this is what's going to be used for spitting out all this stuff. Because there are two different pieces, there's connectors on the drill bit and a collector on the red thing. The red thing is going to collect everything, process it through the refineries, and then stuff it into storage. So the idea here is like, you're, <laughs> you're going out to take an entire asteroid. You don't want to have to stop until the whole thing's gone. So there should be enough room in the storage containers to take care of that, but we'll find out. All right, let's turn on the blocks. Now, if there's some lag, just be cool with it. You can still hear my voice. There we go. Okay, now we are good to go. A little bit of lag. And now, do not move the red thing at all. You're not, just leave the mouse alone. And what we want to do is press forward. Let me make sure we're actually moving forward. Perfect. We're moving forward at about a tenth of a meter a second, which is perfect. You do not want a whole lot of movement happening here. So as you see those thrusters here, the four that are around the edge uh, at the beginning of the red thing, that is critical. So that way it stays uh, centered in that gray jig. Otherwise, what will happen is as those wheels, those drills are spinning, it will actually take that red shaft and just move it up, <laughs> which is bad. That sucks quite a bit. And then it tacos the red thing, and then it's like sad times for everybody. So here we go. It's slow because you do not want it to go fast because as soon as it hits that rock face, we're going to be in for a bit of story time. And the nice part about putting the... Okay, you see the red deal? The red uh, control console is as far forward as possible. That's so that way when we are looking here, I can get in there and look at what the drill bits are doing. Oh, I'm so happy right now. I have done five or six takes to get that damn red bit not to taco and destroy itself before we get there. So the, the big tip here are putting the thrusters on the back on all edges in the front and in the back. Uh, so we should have... We're up to one meter per second. Let's see if we can slow down. Okay, we should be fine. If we hit that rock wall at a meter a second, I think we're going to be okay. But you see it working. I mean, shit, this is pretty sick. It's actually working. I am super impressed right now. Uh, again, do not move that mouse. If you need to move the mouse, make sure you have the alt button pressed before touching that thing. Because any torsion... On that, on that red shaft, and you could potentially be effed. We don't like being effed. If we be effed, it's on our own terms, damn it, not because we screwed it up. And there we go, we're mining. We're mining, guys. I am super impressed right now. Okay. And I think we could pretty much just hold down the W key, because we're only doing a third of a meter a second. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. This is so hot, dude. I'm so happy right now. I have been busting my ass to get this thing to work, and it's finally working. But it's pretty sweet concept, though, because if you get one of these asteroids that's super big, you can just go behind there, add some more to the shaft, move the thrusters back even further, and then you're ready to rock and roll. Now, the frames per second is going down pretty quickly. It's already down to 21 for me. I don't know about what it is for you guys. I, I mean, it's 21 for you guys, obviously. But it's it's going. And uh, the one problem we're probably going to run into is potentially the rock limit. Because I have it on mine set as high as it'll possibly go. It's like 65,000 or something like that. Plus, I have it on the 64-bit version. So it's as good as it can possibly get. Let's see if we can maybe get a little different angle on that. Oh, yeah. Dude, this thing is chewing stuff up. The red shaft is staying nice and straight. The blue thing is not moving. The cage is doing exactly what it needs to do. This is a golden moment for me, you guys. I am just outrageously happy with this. 
Now the real kicker is, is everything working? <laughs> so let's get out of here. Let's uh, shut off the drills. Come on. Okay. This is a test to make sure everything's working. What I what I recommend you do as soon as you stop, um, even though the thrusters are doing a great job back there and maintaining the red shaft, I would highly recommend locking the damn thing down before doing anything, just in case. Okay, because you don't want the, to be dicking around in the red thing and accidentally move it, because that would suck balls. Oh my god, this is hot. I am so freaking happy, you guys. It is working. It is working. It is freaking working. Alright, let me just go make sure I don't have any rocks and stuff tumbling around out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, let's go in and see if the... Now, here's the real magic. Are the refineries full of stuff? I actually can go in and use the control panel anywhere, but it's more dramatic this way. I just don't hear anything. Look at inventory. There it is. It's processing stuff, guys. Holy ass cheeks. It's processing stuff. It's not splitting it evenly, but still. I think that's definitely one thing I gotta figure out is how the hell to get it to split evenly, but I can do that myself. I come in here and just make this an iron and make this uh whatever and that's pretty damn good guys, okay? Pretty damn good. Okay, so if we were just let this thing go for a while. <clears throat> Let's see if we can mow down this entire thing. I think that would be sick. And let's just make sure that we got enough room to be able to do that in. Did take quite a bit of... I think I'm going to need a much longer shaft in order to get through that whole thing. But I think you guys get the idea. That is the work in progress. That is sick, guys. So what do you think about that idea? So again, this is a totally changeable deal. You can move anything you want. You just have to put that station in place, attach the the gray thing. And the cool part is you could put the station in between those two things because you're just putting it there. You don't have to go to it. You just put the station there. That's <laughs> sick. Uh, if you thought that was cool, let me know in the comments below. And if you're listening this long, Put 1750 drills, bitch, in the comments below, and that'll tell me you made it this far and that you're a dedicated, awesome person. So until next time, like, comment, subscribe, and more crossbow gaming mining machine action happening soon. See ya.